Hi, in this video we're going to learn operation with polynomials. This video is going to focus on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. There is a separate video for your division. At the end of the video, you should be able to perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication with polynomials. Let's begin with your terminologies. We have degree of a polynomial. It is the greatest of the degrees of any of its terms. The degree of a term can be also a sum of the exponents of the variables of each term. Let's have an example. You have 3y squared plus 5x plus 7. It is degree 2 because that's the highest exponent. Now, if there's two terms, I mean two variables in each term, the reason why we have a degree 6 is because here y is, has a 1 exponent plus 5 and so you get 6. Why do we need to define degree? Well, that's how a polynomials are named. Common polynomial functions are named according to their degree. Let's say your first um, polynomial has a power of 1, which is actually your linear. If you don't see a power, it means that the highest degree is 1. It's actually your linear function. If the degree is 2, that's your quadratic. Power of 2, degree of 2. The quadratic is the one that has a parabola graph that opens up like a U or it also can be opening down. Now, if the degree is 3, it's called cubic. A cubic function has the highest degree of 3. Linear, quadratic, and cubic will be commonly used later on to name given polynomials. There's also a specific name for higher degrees, 4, 5, 6, but they are rarely used. If the degree is higher than 3, they can just simply be called polynomial. Now, our first operation, we have adding. How do you add polynomials? You just simply combine like terms. Example, your first method of solving or adding polynomial can be a using horizontal format. How do you do that? You copy your problem and then you rearrange and group like terms. Like terms has the same variable and exactly the same exponent. So we have here 5x cubed and 3x cubed are like terms. 6x squared and negative 12x are also like terms. 3 and 10 are like terms. They are both constants. And there it is. That's it. And then you can combine like terms and then combine means adding 8 plus 5 is 3, 6 and negative 12, negative 6, 3 minus 10, negative 7. And that's actually the final answer. Okay, you can rearrange, regroup, group them according to the same variable and exactly the same exponent, which make them like terms. And then when you finally add the like terms you actually just add the numbers or the coefficient and then keep the variable let's have another example you have here three polynomials it, actually they are cubic polynomials degree of three the first example was horizontal and this time let's show vertical method First, you just arrange terms of each polynomial in descending order with like terms in the same column. As you can see, there's a space here. You will understand why. If you write the next, you see you align like terms. The space is actually intended for the x squared from the last polynomial because you can only in a, in a vertical format you arrange like terms in the same column and then you just combine or add or perform the operations 
on the coefficients or the number part and then copy the variable so here we add 6 plus 2 plus 5 is 13 bring down negative 7x and then 11 minus 3 is 8 plus 1 for your last plus 1 here so 9 and then combine negative 21 plus 10 and 5 and you get negative 6 so you can use horizontal you can also use vertical but most of the time later on we will be using horizontal format you will understand why later but those are the two methods you can do horizontal or vertical now that was the example for your addition this is your subtraction before we start your subtraction example there's an there's terminology here we have the additive inverse the additive inverse of a polynomial function x squared plus 3x plus 2 is minus x squared plus 3x plus 2 it's just the negative of the whole thing now this is equivalent to the additive inverse of each of the terms we will use the term additive inverse in subtracting polynomials you have here if you have a minus of the whole thing it means you are going to multiply negative or negative one to each term and it becomes the additive inverse so we are going to use additive inverse for our subtraction of polynomials let's have your example to subtract two polynomials here's the rule to subtract two polynomials add the additive inverse of the second polynomial to the first again to subtract two polynomials add the additive inverse of the second polynomial to the first here is your example now remember we are going to rewrite the subtraction as the addition of the additive inverse what does additive inverse how is additive inverse done well you change your sign from plus to minus because it's the opposite and then all the signs of the terms inside changes so you have positive x squared minus 2xy plus y squared and that is the idea of subtracting horizontally of a polynomial or polynomials you rewrite the subtraction as the addition of the additive inverse of course you can do it also vertically this is how you do it horizontally since it's already plus you can now go back to your addition rule regroup like terms and then combine so our first like term are the x squared and then the x y's and then the y squared and then when you combine like terms you just add 4 plus 1 for the first pair 5 negative 5 and negative 2 negative 7 2 and 1 2 plus 1 is 3 for the y squared and it's done okay another way of um, explaining this is that you could actually presume that there is negative 1 here and then you multiply every term into by negative one and so it changes sign and so it becomes plus afterwards because you are actually taking away the negative from here and it becomes plus whichever works okay let's have another and now it's the multiply multiplying you can actually do this the vertical on the subtraction but the reason why we're doing subtraction like this because it keeps us go back to your addition and you can do perform your horizontal or vertical now the last the next slide is already for multiplication to multiply a polynomial by a monomial use the distributive property and the laws of multiplying exponential expression remember your laws of exponents oh when you multiply uh, polynomials with exponents you actually multiply same base but actually adding the exponents so our first example here you have to pair distribute first 
according to your instruction distribute and then that's it you now perform your law 2 times 3 is 6 x times x squared is x cubed 2x times 2x is 4x squared 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x that's it you just distribute and then multiply the numbers and then add the exponents of the same variables that's how you multiply variables according to law of exponents let's have more examples of multiplying polynomials with more variables perform your distribution multiply negative 3x squared y to the first term second term and then last term multiply your coefficient negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 x squared times x squared is x fourth power and then copy y now the second term negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 x squared times x is x cubed y times y is y squared the last is going to be negative 3 times 7 is negative 21 x squared there's no x squared on here so x squared stays y times y squared is y cubed so negative 21 x squared y cubed and actually it's done just remember distribute and then multiply the coefficients or the number part and then add exponents of the same variable that's how you multiply polynomials there's more if you are multiplying binomial and a binomial it means polynomials with two terms times polynomial with two terms Remember, we use FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. And then after performing FOIL, you add the products. But actually, you just combine usually your outer and inner, and that's the final answer. Combine like terms. Let's have your example. First terms, 2x plus 7x. And then outer is 2x times negative 5 inner is 1 times 7x and then the last is 1 times negative 5 and then perform your multiplication 14x negative 10x and then 7x and then negative 5 and then combine like terms 10 plus negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3 14x squared stays negative 3x and then negative 5 and that was your point okay that is the case if you have binomial times binomial. Two polynomial with two terms times polynomial with two terms. Now, what if you are going to multiply a binomial to a polynomial which means more than two terms? You just make sure you apply your distributive property and then don't forget to apply correctly your laws of exponent. Let's have an example here. First, distribute x minus 1 to every term on the 2x squared, 7x plus 3. So this is your first distribution, second, and third. Each was multiplied by x minus 1. And then just you perform another distribution, but it's backwards. 2x squared times x, 2 minus 1. And then you have 2x cubed minus 2x squared. You watch out negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared and then backwards again 7x squared minus 7x 3x minus 3 and then combine like terms you can copy down 2x cubed because it's that it does not combine with any other terms then you have negative 2x squared combines with 7x that's gonna be 9 no 5 what did i do 7 minus 2 is 5, and then negative 7 and 3 is negative 4x, and then copy negative 3 because it does not combine with the other terms. You only combine like terms. Like terms means it has the same, exactly the same variable and exactly the same exponent. That's why negative 7x and 3x combines as negative 4, negative 2x squared, and 7x squared combines as 5x because you actually do subtraction 7 minus 2. And as always, answers or products are written in descending order of degree or no, descending exponents or descending powers. Okay.
Now, more example. When you multiply, you can also use vertical format. You write the longer on the top first and then on the second row will be your shorter or binomial. Remember, how do you do your vertical? You actually just multiply your first uh, term in your second row with the whole complete trinomial. So by distributive property, or you multiply it one, one by one, negative one times three is negative three, negative one times seven x, you have negative seven x, negative one times two x squared is negative two x squared. And it's not done, now it's the x to be multiplied to your trinomial x times 3x x times 3 is 3x x times 7x is 7x squared x times 2x squared is 2x cubed remember your rules x raised to 1 times x squared you add 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 you have the exponent of 3 and that's it no it's not done combine like terms so copy negative 3 just bring down negative 3 does not combine with others actually that's why it's formatted like this because in the column are like terms negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4 7 minus 2 is 5 and then copy to x cube that's how you do it multiplying polynomial by vertical method the first method is horizontal you do distributive property and then simplify and then com combine like terms okay see which is easier but actually some problems is easier on the horizontal method some cases it will be easier if it's a vertical method but later on on the function we will mostly use the horizontal method when we are on the function lessons okay and that's the end you can always review the video when you get stuck on a problem. Thank you.